Chrissy here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I do money-saving videos and videos on my pregnancy and baby videos. So today's video is going to be my breastfeeding journey video. Um, I want to do a breastfeeding tips video, breastfeeding breast pumping tips video. And I feel in order to do that, I need to get this out there first because this is one where I can just kind of ramble on about what happened to me and then brainstorm some ideas and come up with my master list of what I will use on the other video. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's what I'm going to do today. Um, <clears throat> I knew from the start, excuse me, I knew from the start that I wanted to breastfeed. And I was very adamant about that, which a lot of women are. Um, there was no way that I was going to not try and not try my damnedest to do so. Um, we went into the hospital, obviously. I went in early. I'll do my birth video as well. But um, I went in uh, the day before my due date due to high blood pressure, which it wasn't even really high. I have very, very low blood pressure, so they considered it high. And there was protein in my urine, so they took me in to induce me, which I think that they like to do with a lot of people, but that's a whole nother story. I was induced, ended up having my baby, <clears throat> and we were able to latch right away in the hospital and um, breastfeed. So I breastfed the entire time I was in the hospital. Um, we always had a problem with the left side. I'm left-handed, so I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's kind of the way it goes. Usually, um, it's harder for you to get adjusted and hold on um, <clears throat> to the baby correctly and like get that alignment right on the side that you um, are comfortable with. If you're right-handed, you might have trouble with the left, the right side. If you're left-handed, the left side. So I had trouble with the left side. Um, they wanted me to try to do like the football move and stuff like that. So in the hospital, I was already developing bad habits. Um, every time he woke up, which I was there for quite a few days, every time he woke up, um, <clears throat> I would automatically try to do the right side because it was easier for me instead of trying to get used to the left. So I think I made my slacker boob the left from doing that. Um, Either way, we did, you know, we did feed off that side as well. Breastfed the entire time in the hospital, came home, and um, of course, immediately things are different. Like the minute you get home, you don't have that help there. Um, my husband was an absolute amazing. He was a saint. He was he was the best help. Um, he just, I feel like he jumped into it way more than I did. Like, he just knew exactly what to do. He was there. He changed every diaper. He was just there constantly helping with everything, staying up with me, etc. So, first night we got home, and naturally, I tried to breastfeed, and he was screaming uncontrollably, so he wouldn't latch. And, you know, we're brand new parents. The first thing we do is we're like, well... I don't know, you know, is he getting the milk? Because that's your first question every single time. And personally, now after all of this stuff I've gone through, I feel it in the beginning. Yes, they could be crying because they're not getting enough or maybe the letdown is too strong or whatever the case is. It's possible, of course. But I think a lot of the times it's just a newborn baby that's crying as well. And when you give them the bottle... It's just so much easier and it's kind of right there stuck in their face. <clears throat> they don't have to work for it as hard depending on the flow of the nipple. That that seems to quiet them down or satisfy them from what you're seeing quicker. So I think this is what brings up a lot of women that end up doing exclusive pumping. So that's what happened to me. You know, immediately my husband was like, well, we have the free samples of the the formula so let's just go ahead and try that and I was devastated I mean I'm full of emotions I you know I'm already like falling off the deep end and he pulls out this formula and it's just like a huge slap in my face um, I know that all he wanted to do was just 
you know, help our baby. We were both new and it was nothing against me, but I took it to heart and it was terrible. So immediately when he did that, I pulled up the pump. I had not pumped at all in the hospital. I had not pumped before I had him. I know some women try to pump at the beginning a little bit of colostrum. I was just terrified to induce labor myself, so I didn't do that. Um, thinking back now, I think maybe I should have done a little bit of that. But again, these are just all my personal opinions and things that I would do. You do your own thing and um, consult your doctor. You know, I'm in no way lactation consultant or anything like that. So I pulled out my pump and I became an exclusive pumper. After breastfeeding for a week in the hospital or four or five days in the hospital, I became an exclusive pumper. So I said, well, I'm still not giving up. Like, that's it. Like, I just don't even care. And I pumped every single two hours faithfully. I think I was almost on an hour and a half because I was timing it differently. I was, I was timing from the minute I put my pump on to the next two hours. So I think you're supposed to time it from the minute you take it off. Anyhow, I became an exclusive pumper. I pumped faithfully 10 to 12 times a day. We didn't even try to relatch at that point because I was just in fear that he was going to cry and reject me. And again, I felt so uncomfortable. Like, you know, it's, it's an art. Breastfeeding is an art. Like you have to learn you just have to learn it. I don't know how to explain it except for that. Like it really does just take practice. Um, so I just, I wasn't going to try again. I just became an exclusive pumper, which I hated. I mean, who wants to freaking be milked like a cow? So, and I pumped 10 to 12 times a day. I mean, yeah, I did everything to keep my supply up or to, or to, in, um, up my supply if I could. I believe that my supply was just lower and it, that can just happen you know it, it some women produce a lot of milk some women do not produce a lot of milk so it really just all depends um on your body what was I gonna say so so um I became an exclusive pumper. I went and tried everything under the sun to, to change my supply. I could not. Um, I got an average of like an ounce to two ounces every time. So, um, and then soon he went up to four ounce bottles. So it was basically like every two pumps, I was able to give him a bottle. Um, I had to supplement here and there, and of course, looking at the supply, it absolutely discourages you if you're in these online groups and you're looking at these huge supplies and these freezers full of milk, and it bothers you, do not do it. Stay out of them for a while. Stress, I really do believe, can decrease your supply of all things. If you're worried about water and body armor and um, coconut water and supplements and fenugreek and all this stuff forget about all that stuff stress you better remember that stress can can decrease your supply um, drink water eat right and pump 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 it's a supply and demand thing and if you're not getting that much like me um, just remember that everything you are giving your baby is something if you have to supplement it's okay these companies have worked years and years at making these formulas as best as they possibly could. There is nothing wrong with formula. I was a formula baby. I mean, I'm amazing. <laughs> but, no, and honestly, there's nothing wrong with formula. Um, I know it's easy for me to say now that, you know, I'm 10 months in and I'm a little bit uh, saner <laughs> with things that have been going on, but yeah. So back to my story, um, I exclusively pumped for, I want to say the next, let's see, I was home for, I think I was home for eight weeks, so five, six, so I think around like the sixth week, I want to say, I was laying on the couch with my baby and he just started inching his way down towards my boob 
and I said, you know what? Let me give this another shot. You know, I want I want to be able to breastfeed. I want I want to have that closeness with him. Let me give this another try. So I lifted up my shirt, and I'm gonna talk about like lip tie or tongue tie also in a minute here. I lifted up my shirt, and he just latched, and it just happened naturally. It wasn't like a forced. I didn't like what I was doing in the other day in the in the beginning you know get these pillows sit up at this angle make sure that the baby's at this angle make sure the stomach it just happened naturally it was just like reclined and he just like leaned over and the next thing I knew boom he was breastfeeding so we started again and the left side was difficult at first but um we got the hang of it and it just happened that was it I've been breastfeeding ever since when I'm away from him I pump I pump on the weekends, um, <clears throat> and I pump at work. I'm pumping right now on my way to work. I'm wearing my LVs. Um, so, so that's what we do. And I mean, I've seen some pictures of like the lip tie and stuff. I think that he might have lip tie very slightly. Um, I asked the doctor about it and he said there's nothing to be concerned about and I've seen it actually on my husband as well um, he got a little upset when I talked about it or asked about it but I was in the beginning again you know looking for something to, to find out what was going on thankfully we never even got the surgery it is not harmful to him um, it's not really big or anything and, and I you know, I believe my doctor, he's eating fine, he's latching fine, everything like that. So, just before you jump the gun on certain things, um, maybe possibly continue to try. Um, you could try the nipple shields, things like that. Um, and there's also like a back to breast group online, which is great if you want to um, try that as well. If you end up being an exclusive pumper, that's fine as well. If you end up being a complete breastfeeder, that's fine. If you end up being a complete formula feed, feeding mom, that's fine. It, it doesn't matter. You're amazing. You're a mom. You are doing the absolute best you can. And your baby is going to be fine. And it's going to be okay. Um, you just need to stay positive and live in the moment. And, and don't miss any of these amazing moments because of counting ounces or trying to freeze milk that's another thing I've seen like I've seen some people say well I'm getting ready to go back to work so I'm gonna supplement now and start freezing milk why give your baby what you're producing right now if you're not that much of an overproducer or anything even if you are I think but if you're not <clears throat> You don't need to count these ounces. I stopped counting, that was it. I pumped, I made sure I put the fresh milk in one bottle, the cold milk in the other. When they were acclimated at the same temperature, I mixed them together. And when I had enough for a bottle, or when he was ready to eat the next time, I checked that milk. If I had enough, I gave it to him. If I didn't, I filled up as much breast coat milk that I had available, and then I supplemented the rest, and that's it. And once I stopped worrying about it, I feel like my supply did come up a little bit. I am still nowhere near, uh, you know, an oversupplier. I am I'm a barely an offer, and I'm supplementing still to this day, and I'm okay with it. I don't have not one bag of milk in my freezer. The only thing that worries me a little bit right now is making sure I save a half an ounce somewhere so I can get myself my breastfeeding ring. <laughs> but other than that, whatever I pump goes into him, and that's it. You know, I I don't have enough to give a milk bath. I don't have enough to make milk soap, and that's okay. I'm okay with that and you should be okay with that too so that's it that's really like my breastfeeding um, journey you know we're on month 10 right now um, during this corona thing I was able to pump I'm sorry I was able to breastfeed the entire time because I stayed home because I was terrified to come from work go to work <clears throat> so I was out of work for a while and it was like an extended maternity leave it was so nice to be able to be with my baby again and stay home with him constantly and feed all the time so I am like two weeks back in at work no this is maybe my third week back um pumping again has not been fun it's like ugh, it kind of sucks but it is what it is and we get to breastfeed at night 
So that's it. I am going to make a tips video as well. Um, I just wanted to get this out there. Like I said, if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. Um, anything at all because you will help me on my tips video as well. So if you have any questions, let me know and I will do like a visual tips video, not like with my boobs out or anything, <laughs> but um, try to maybe like put some pictures into the videos as well. I'm trying to get better at editing, but um, I'm still not great with that. So sometimes you're going to have these rambling videos of me <clears throat> driving and I hope that's okay with you. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you're subscribed and um, don't forget to check out my other videos on babies and pregnancy and saving money because you're a mom now. So I do easy videos on saving money. Uh, videos that anybody can do. No actual coupons needed. All you need is your phone. Um, so that's it. That's it for now. I'm going to go into work. Uh, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you next time.